That is Sports 365, the place where sports fans collide. The Stephen A. Smith was on first take today, living up to his namesake from the movie Django. I want to set the tone right out the gate. Um, this man blasted Cap and hedged his uh, his criticism, but he, for the most part, he, he he had a negative view of Kaepernick. Uh, scoriated Kyrie uh, and many others. Um, advocated for the firing of a black coach for multiple years. And this guy had the nerve to go on first day today and say that we or the people are wrong for what they did to Jerry Jones. We did not go out there to observe a racist act at the age of 14 or 15. I don't know if he participated or not. I'm not gonna, I, I don't know what he was doing. But what we do know is he was there. And we do know that he said that he was there to observe, to see what was going on. Um, okay, fine, cool. Um, in the Washington Post article, they went on to say that, I'm an to him, uh, if I remember correctly, that his grandparents or his granddad was part of the Klan. I read the whole article, it was a bunch of bullshit. Because they really didn't cover anything. Um, for every negative thing, they wrote a couple of positive or tried to frame it. But this really isn't about the articles. You guys can read it for yourself and watch the post, make your own determination or whatnot. This is really about Stephen A. Smith, who went on national television and defended a, a, a white man for being at a protest where <clears throat> black students were not allowed to get into a building. And part of his rationale behind that is that uh, he was 14 or 15 and that do we want to explain our actions at 14 or 15? Um, if there were actions to explain, I would have to explain it. Yes, I was 14 or 15. That does not excuse me for what I did. Then he said, <clears throat> what else he say? It don't even matter. Um, what I want to say is that yes, there are some things. The only person I know what was going on that day was was is definitely Jerry Jones. But when you look at the history of Jerry Jones, if you look at his response to the protest and how he took, and I believe I said this on first take, a very slave owner's mentality when it came to the players that worked for him. When you look at his history of hiring, when you look at how he takes up for certain people, they are employees and people that work for him. They are assets to him and sometimes liabilities. So, yes, we do not know what he was doing. We do not know his actions. But we know his actions from the time he was 15 until now. We know his actions from the time that he hired, I mean, bought, the Dallas Cowboys. Jerry Jones, many say, is one of the most powerful figures in the NFL. <laughs> and he has not hired a black coach. NFL head coach, I want to say. We could draw a line from his behavior as an owner and with certain people all the way back to his upbringing. Because it was 65 years ago. He did grow up in a time where it was damn near normal to be racist and look at black people in a different way. You know, and there were parts in the article that tried to say that his dad and Jerry himself, you know, looked at black people in a sympathetic light. That's what they were doing in the article. 
But Stephen A., we just cannot ignore this man at this protest in Little Rock, Arkansas. Because let's just say by happenstance, Stephen A., that Jerry Jones is flat out lying. Again, we will not know, and we will never know. But what if he is lying, Stephen A. Smith, to protect his identity? I mean, to protect his, his image. What if? And, and, and while we won't know, we can look at how he's handled race relations in certain, certain aspects of what he did with the Cowboys. We just simply cannot ignore it. Or, no, 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 I'll take this back. We can acknowledge it happened. We can acknowledge that Jerry may have changed over the years. You know, but we cannot sit here and say that we did this man wrong. We were not there in that photo at that protest, not allowing those six black students to get in. That was Jerry Jones. So, it is what it is. He just got to have to deal with the blowback that comes with it. And he's going to have to do more than have a slanted article written in the Washington Post trying to show that he has helped race relations throughout his career. Because he hasn't, if we being straight up and honest. So Stephen A. Smith, you got to get it together, brother. Because this was a bad look. For you to get up there and defend this white man like that and for you to go and criticize extremely harsh at times black people. You got to do brother, brother, and you missed the mark on this one.